First Nations Art will now greet visitors who arrive at Victoria International Airport, and they'll see them off as well. This morning, three Coast Salish totem poles were unveiled at the main terminal. A disaster brunchment shows us now they symbolize more than just a warm welcome. They represent strength and mutual respect. Oh. With the sounds of traditional drums, three Coast Salish totems are unveiled at Victoria's International Airport, offering a warm welcome to all who visit. Well, the story I think that's been told by these um, totems standing here is that um, the First Nations people are here, they're alive, they're well, we're still practicing our culture, and that we want to share with the rest of the world some of our some of the our richness and some of the richness is our artwork. Master carver Charles Elliott spent many months chipping away at each pole of old growth red cedar. I'm proud and I want everybody to enjoy this the same feeling. It's not just a feeling for me. I want everybody to enjoy this experience. The totems are the product of a three year partnership with the airport authority started by former CEO Richard Paquette. This is one event that I absolutely couldn't miss. Uh, art at the airport has been an important priority for the airport authority. The carvings are impressive. I know when I came out and saw them for the first time, I, it just it stopped me. It's that these are probably the most spectacular totems that I've seen. But they're more than just a way to welcome tourists. But more importantly, it cements the friendship and respect that BAA has for our First Nations friends and breaks a stereotype. It's so important to not treat us like tokens of this country. We have a history here, you know, and working with VAA is uh, it's a good start. That start, welcoming all travelers to this, their traditional land. In North Saanich, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.